November 29, 2012, half a month after the conclusion of the 18th CPC National Congress, Xi Jinping proclaims the Chinese dream to the world at the National Museum of China. Chinese是中华民族的伟大复兴，就是中华民族近代最伟大的中国梦。因为这个梦想啊，它是凝聚和寄托了几代中国人的夙愿，它体现了中华民族和中国人民的整体利益，它是每一个中华儿女啊的一
To realize the Chinese dream, the CPC must follow a Chinese path, carry forward the Chinese spirit and pool Chinese strength. In 2014, while at the College of Europe in Bruges, Belgium, she told the teachers and students the story of China's road to national rejuvenation. Chinese 试过了，结果呢，都行不通，最后中国选择了社会主义道路。The CPC led the Chinese people as they painstakingly explored a road of socialist modernization suited to China's conditions. In just a few decades, industrialization was achieved, something that took developed countries hundreds of years to complete. China had blazed a new trail for developing countries seeking to achieve modernization. It's golden autumn in Beijing. The air is crisp and the sun is shining on the bronzed roof of the terminal, which resembles a golden phoenix about to take to the sky. It's the Beijing Daxing International Airport. With a construction area of about 1.4 million square meters and an annual passenger throughput of 100 million, this modern airport has the largest single terminal in the world. Taking only five years to complete, the successful completion of the project was a landmark in the history of world architecture. From the official operation of Daxing International Airport to the completion of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, from the opening of the Beijing Urumqi Expressway spanning across three deserts to the upcoming delivery of the Baihe Tan hydropower station. From the completion of the Beidou Global Satellite Navigation System in 2020 to the scientific exploration by Chang'e 5 lunar probe, which returns with self-sampled lunar soil and to the successful landing of Tianwen-1 probe on Mars. Chinese vehicles, Chinese ports, Chinese ships, Chinese networks and other mega-projects that have a bearing on the well-being of the 1.4 billion Chinese people witness China's drive and will to achieve modernization and speak to the integrity and quality of China's dream of pursuing rejuvenation. This new era did not come about easily, nor did the path of socialism with Chinese characteristics come about accidentally. Facts have proved that the path is feasible and popular, and that it is the only way to realize the Chinese dream. A nation without spiritual strength can hardly stand on its own. With spirit, it can achieve great goals. In this crucial period of national rejuvenation, carrying forward the Chinese spirit in order to advance the overall strategy and realize the Chinese dream is a must. Twenty nineteen marked the seventieth anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. It was a year when the song My Motherland and I was heard in every high street and back alley, applauding China's achievements over seven decades.
That year, the Chinese women's national volleyball team once again demonstrated their enduring spirit by winning 11 consecutive matches and winning first place in the 2019 FIVB Volleyball Women's World Cup, its 10th World Championship of the three major volleyball events. Xi Jinping invited the women's volleyball team to attend the reception celebrating the 70th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. At the meeting, he said, the victory of the Chinese women's national volleyball team has aroused much patriotic enthusiasm across the country and greatly enhanced people's confidence and pride. Xi's high evaluation not only acknowledged the spirit of the Chinese women's volleyball team, but also encouraged every dream pursuer striving to realize the great rejuvenation of the nation. 女排精神呢我们是这样理解的就是祖国之上团结协作完强拼搏永不言败我们每一个人都要做最好的自己大家团结一致啊进行很好的合作去在球场上展现我们的这种中国年轻人的这种朝气蓬勃的精神面貌和
It is by drawing on every Chinese citizen's strength that the Chinese dream will eventually be realized. Zhou Bing, born in 1995, is a master bricklayer famed in the construction industry. As a delegate to the National People's Congress, he spoke to the media and shared his story of how he became a champion bricklayer. Zhou Bin began as a hod carrier on a construction site age 16. Delivering a satisfactory piece of work meant starting again and again multiple times. What's more, he never shied away from learning from others. His diligent efforts finally paid off in the World Skills competition when Zhou Bin defeated competitors from all over the world and won the highest honor his own small part of the Chinese dream had been realized. Craftsmanship is a spirit of striving for perfection, selfless dedication and bold innovation. What's more, Zhou Bin is not just fashioning a wonderful life for himself from bricks and mortar, he's also inspiring others to become skillful craftsmen. Li Ching Hung, a delivery man from Fuyang, Anhui province, has been sorting delivery packages in Hangzhou for five years. After years of hard work, Li has developed the ability to quickly and accurately sort any package by the number on it, be it a city code, an area code, or a postcode. With tenacity and professionalism, Lee won the first prize in the third vocational skills competition for express delivery in Zhejiang Province in 2019. Zhejiang Province Human Resources and Social Security Department awarded him a Provincial Technical Expert Certificate. Also for his skills, Lee was rated among the Hangzhou's Category D high-level talents and was awarded a housing subsidy of 1 million yuan. Happiness doesn't come on itself. Hard work is the only way to realize one's dreams. All the 56 ethnic groups in China enjoy the opportunity to grow and progress together with their motherland and the times. They are marching steadfastly towards their dream destination. Majik Dorch is a Mongolian herdsman born in 1982. He always keeps in mind that he is a Communist Party member and a child of the grassland. Adhering to the original aspiration of seeking welfare for the herdsman, he explored a new path of high-quality development guided by ecology, leading young people in Manglai Gacha to set up family pastures and calling on herdsmen to carry out rotational grazing on pastures to protect grasslands. The result has been a continuous improvement in ecological standards in pasturing areas, leading to higher productivity in husbandry and boosted incomes for herdsmen. On November 24, 2020, at the Great Hall of the People, Majik Dorch was awarded the title of National Model Worker. Uh, 
，呃，又有推选为这个合作社理事长，这也是牧民对我的信任，所以我也是一直会努力，带我们牧民一起致富，对，带牧民把这个草原保护好。A native of Macau, Pui In Mac is internationally recognized as a leading expert in the field of solid state circuits. In December 2019, the State Key Laboratory of Analog and Mixed Signal VLSI at the University of Macau, where Mac works, was officially established in Hung Ching, Zhuhai City. We are in Changsun Yenchai. 跟啊科技研发方面都可以发挥两地的人才互动。我们希望在五到十年后，我们就成为这个芯片领域的一个啊领先者，有这个引领国际、引领啊世界发展芯片这个行业的一个能力。In the new era, Chinese strength has been pooled more than ever. Chinese compatriots from Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan. As well as overseas Chinese, have worked hand in hand, writing a brilliant chapter in the great renewal of the Chinese nation. The Chinese dream is a dream of peace, development, and win-win cooperation. It is closely connected with the dreams of people around the world, and it benefits not only China, but also the whole world. In today's world, peace and development are still the themes of the times, and China remains in an important period of strategic opportunities for development. The prospects for building a modern socialist country in an all-round way are bright. At the same time, however, the world is changing rapidly, and the international situation has become unstable and uncertain. Our road ahead will not be smooth, and we must be prepared to deal with various difficult situations. In May 2019, she visited Jiangxi province and held a symposium on the rise of China's central region. There, he pointed out that leading CPC officials should bear in mind the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation and the drastic changes of the world unseen in a century. These two realities should be the starting point of their work. It was a clear message. The CPC must and will work for the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation, the dream of the entire Chinese people. The CPC Central Committee with Xi Jinping at its core has made coordinated and concerted efforts to formulate the strategic plans and arrangements aimed at upholding and developing socialism with Chinese characteristics in the new era. The Communist Party of China has united and led the people of all ethnic groups in undertaking great struggles, developing great projects, advancing great causes and realizing great dreams. The original aspiration and the mission of Chinese communists was to seek happiness for the Chinese people and rejuvenation for the Chinese nation. Chinese communists have lived up to the trust that the Chinese people have placed in them and proved themselves worthy of history's choice in the great endeavors of building socialism with Chinese characteristics in the new era, they continue to work hard and forge ahead, creating a mighty force for all Chinese citizens to rally around 
as they strive to achieve their common goal. Ooh. 